Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to review the Philips EasyGo vacuum cleaner. This is a compact vacuum cleaner that's great for um, homes or apartments that are small to medium size. And it has a peak power of about 1400 watts. Although it's small, the EasyGo is not small on performance. Now let's take a look at the uh, design first. One thing I like about the EasyGo is that it features this, um, uh, this mount where you can store the uh, vacuum head like this vertically so you don't have to take a lot of space on the floor when you're, uh, when, you're not, when you're not using it it can sit like this or you can even um, make it sit vertically like this and like any other conventional uh, vacuum cleaner it, you, it, it has a retractable um, plug you can pull this out and um, I think it's about 6 meters long and you, you can retract itself like that. So right here is the uh, dust container. You just pull the lever and it will come out. Uh, the dust container features a filter that you can clean. It's a reusable filter. You just clean it with water and rinse it. And let's sh let me show you how the container is accessed. Right here you can see the dust and stuff that have been collected after uh, vacuuming so fairly easy to use the filter and the dust container just pop the uh, filter in and it will go in like this so it's fairly easy to install and remove the uh, cleaning head can be removed like so and the extender has a two-stage uh, there is a two-stage ext extender. This is the first stage. Right here is the second stage. And here's the cleaner head itself, which features a uh, retractable um, brush brushes. Right now, you can see that the brushes have been retracted. And if you want to use the brush, just press the um, lever here and the brush will come out. And if you press the lever again, the brush will go in, will be retracted. So it's uh, nice to use this if you have it. The dust, it's uh, the uh, the brush itself can capture quite a lot of hair, uh, cat hair, fur, and all that stuff. If you look here. Now, uh, Philips recommends that you don't use the brush when you're um, using it for cleaning a carpet or something delicate carpets that have delicate fabric or something like that you, you don't use the uh, brush here you're supposed to retract it uh, the brush would be great if you're cleaning a tile floor such as this one or a wooden floor and there is also a uh, sharp a narrow nozzle here which you can uh, plug in directly to the to the extender and then you just uh, plug this in plug this into the uh, tube and you can start cleaning now the, the tube itself has a, a, a kind of slide that allows you to uh, reduce the suction power of the vacuum. Right here, if you look at here, if I slide this backwards, there, is a, there are holes, two holes here that allow some air to come out. Um, what happens is if you're cleaning this, uh, you're using this vacuum cleaner for um, carpets that are delicate, and you don't want to use very high power output on those carpets then you reduce reduce the pressure uh, by sliding open the um, uh, the slide if you're uh, cleaning a floor a tile floor marble floor or a wooden floor where you, where you need high pressure high vacuum power so you just close this so fairly easy to use the um, easy go is a little bit um, it, because it's a, an affordable vacuum cleaner, it does feel a little bit plasticky. Uh, most of the parts here, they feel somewhat plasticky. There, there, are, there are no aluminum parts on the uh, hose, uh, the hose bracket and all that. It's all plastic, but that's uh, meant to keep the price down. So let me demonstrate uh, how the EasyGo functions. So right here is the power button. You just need to press this to turn it on. I 
find that the EasyGo, despite the cheap price tag, uh, it functions very well, it cleans very well. Although it feels plasticky, it does feel cheap. Uh, uh, it does, it cleans very well. There is no issue in the cleaning performance. So now let's move on to the flaws of the EasyGo. Uh, obviously, the first thing that I want to point out is that this uh, this nozzle here, there is no bracket or mounting uh, mounting bracket for this if you want to store it. There is no way you can store it on the uh, main unit. So you have to keep this somewhere safe because if not you will you might lose it because it's a small item. Uh, the, the main nozzle the main the main cleaning head can be stored like this, but the the small one here, there is no bracket for it. So that's one flaw it has. And another thing is that normally vacuum cleaners that are compact and small, such as this one, they tend to get hot pretty quick. And when they get hot, they tend to stay hot for a long time, even after you're not using it. Then they tend to stay hot for like 5 to 10 minutes. So this is something you need to keep in mind if you're going to get the easy go. A performance of vacuum cleaners tend to slow down once their motors overheat. So you need to keep that in mind when using it. But overall, I'm actually pretty satisfied. Pretty happy with the easy go. I find it to be a um, very good value for money. Pretty compact. It works very well. And yeah, so... That's it for my review of the EasyGo, Philips EasyGo vacuum cleaner. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. And uh, if you want to know where to purchase this from, I will include the purchase links in the description below. So you can check that out if you're interested in purchasing one. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos. So till the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.